Weather-related issues lead the news again this week. Fort Meade employees were sent home at noon on Tuesday and delayed in coming in on Wednesday. Anne Arundel County schools, which include the Fort Meade schools, were closed for two days. Some school districts on Maryland's eastern shore are still closed as of today, Friday. While post operations are close to being back to normal, the entire state is still dealing with frigid temperatures. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. A related story on the weather in a moment. We also have coverage of Miss America's visit this week to Fort Meade, plus some important news for government travel card holders, and a story from the VA and the Home Loan Benefit. These stories and more, but first of all, Fort Meade doesn't always follow the lead of the Office of Personnel Management, or OPM, during weather-related closures. OPM offers a smartphone app that gives you the current operating status of federal government offices in the Washington, D.C. area. Once again, Fort Meade doesn't always follow OPM's lead in weather-related closures, but in cases like these, the more information you have, the better. In other news, Miss America 2014, Miss Nina Davaluri visited Fort Meade's USO Center on Wednesday. Her visit is part of a national USO tour. Davaluri, a native of Syracuse, New York, was crowned last September and is the first Indian American to win. The Miss America organization works closely with the USO. As a result, Fort Meade welcomes the new Miss America just about every year. In financial news, the Fort Meade Tax Assistance Center held its grand opening this week. All eligible clients can start making their appointments to have their taxes prepared starting on Monday. In a related story, Military One Source offers resources for service members filing their taxes. Here's a report courtesy of the Pentagon Channel. The countdown is underway to the April 15th tax deadline. Tony Jackson, a program analyst for Military One Source, says the website is the first place for service members and their families to go for tax information specific to the military community. We got tax counselors that are available uh, Monday through Sunday, uh, 7, uh, 7 a.m. to uh, 11.30 uh, p.m. Uh, and they're there to provide you know, support and, and information and education to family and service members regarding tax uh, season. Mr. Jackson says now is the time to gather your documents and prepare your questions. You can get in touch with someone at Military One Source by phone at 800-342-9647 or go online to militaryonesource.mil. In more financial news, Citibank is reporting that some government travel card holders have received text messages informing them that they would be suspended unless certain information was provided. These messages are from 190-141-40142.vtext.com. The messages threaten to suspend the card unless information like the full account number, the three-digit CVV, the user's last four and four-digit PIN are provided. These messages are not from Citibank. Remember, valid organizations would never request private information via email or ask for personal information like logins, social security numbers, or your PIN. If you do receive one of these texts, contact the appropriate IT manager. If you responded already and provided any information, you should contact Citibank immediately. And finally this week, even more news about your money. One of the VA's biggest benefits is the VA-backed home loan. Here's a story on where to start. This is a topic that I'm passionate about. And I'm going to start off with education. You know, think about it. When we go out to buy a vehicle or we are going to plan on going on a vacation, we're going to do a tremendous amount of research on that. However, I think too often with uh, home ownership, we don't do the research that is necessary to educate ourselves. You know, there's a saying that, that I've heard that I really like. It's, in, uh, it's called know before you owe. And how it relates to the home buying process is that when we rent, we have certain fees that go along with, with the home. However, home ownership involves fees that we've never thought of. There's taxes, there's insurance, there's maintenance, there are, there's upkeep. What happens if the water heater breaks? Do we have the emergency funds necessary to take care of, of that, that problem? One that I would recommend is the CFPB, or the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. They actually have a site um, that is specifically geared towards veterans and service members, and there's a lot of information about home ownership on that. Another site that I would recommend would be HUD, the Housing and Urban Development. They have great tools on there about home ownership. If you're active duty, I would highly encourage you to make an appointment and go in and see your facility financial counselor. They are there specifically to provide you information as it relates to your finances, and they would be a great resource to help you um, understand the home buying process and how much that is actually going to cost you. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.